Hello everybody and welcome back to All the Mod 6 to the Sky. In this episode, as you can see, we work on a mob farm. And not just regular old mob farm, an extremely fast and powerful one. Like this thing, I can't even explain how fast it is. You'll just have to watch and see. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we are going to be working on making a mob farm because, well, there's actually a couple of things I want to get from these mobs. First, zombies will be able to get a ton of leather from them because I want to start enchanting our upgrades, specifically our upgrades over here because, well, as you can see, it only does a tree by tree area and that is not enough for what we would need to do. I want to make sure it can do a nine by nine and I want to make sure it is extremely fast. So to do that, we need to start enchanting, but I have no leather except for maybe one piece. No, I have two pieces of leather now. But the best way to get leather is, of, well, one way is farming all our cows. So like breeding them and then uh, killing them. Or two is to set up a zombie farm in here and then cook the zombie flesh. So like if we look up leather, the one way we can make it is by smelting rotten, rotten leather, which we get from tree rotten flesh, which of course comes from... Whatever the hell this thing is, a dread beast. But specifically, a zombie. So, we need to set up this farm. Now, the only way really to get mobs spawning this when I'm standing this close is, of course, to use this cursed earth. Or this cursed uh, ground or whatever it is that we were talking about last episode. And we also need to set up these mob mashers, mob farm, absorption hoppers, and a way to collect all the XP. Because regular tanks are not going to be enough. This thing only has 32 buckets. The jumbo one holds 100 or 1,024 buckets which is way better. So to get to the nether, we need to actually make a portal, which I have been creating some obsidian here. Um, so now we've got like nearly 700 obsidian in here, which is great. We just need 10. So I'm just going to take a bit of this and put it inside our system here to put six away. Actually, you know what? I'll put two in the corner. So I'll take 12. So grabbing our string, I just want to make a stack of wool and then I want to make the mob swab. So mob and remember we made one with the self. So I'm going to make another one, and I'm going to use that to create a wither skeleton egg. And hopefully we'll get another egg later on if we manage to get capturing. But I'm not going to use the wither skeleton egg at the moment, I just want to have one for future. Because later on, I will want to be setting up a mob crusher instead of this mob masher. So where are we going to set up this nether portal? I actually am not entirely sure, I was thinking of just putting it right here. So I might actually move this guy. So you know what? Because of the way the shape is here, I'm actually going to set up a really wide uh, portal. Because why not? Let me just grab a bit more obsidian. That should be enough. I come up here. I need two more pieces. There we go. Pretty big portal. That'll do. Now, do we have a flint and steel? I know we should. I swear I'm missing a few items. Did I not have a flint and seal in the start when I was trying to make, like, lava? Could have swore it, it did. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Now, a couple of things before we need to, before we go, is I need to grab a cardboard box, because I want to grab a couple of spawners, if I can. I'm also probably going to need fire resistance there, so... If I look up skull, remember this skull we got of our wandering trader? We'll be able to now make this, which is like that. This makes 19. And not too worried about how much we make. Uh, I might as well hold on to a stack of this iron dust. You never know what I need it for. But now we should be able to make this obsidian skull. And now we should grant fire resistance for 30 seconds as long as we have it on us. I think once you start taking fire damage, it holds on for 30 seconds. But yeah, that's, I think that's all we need. So, um, I think that's it. One other thing is I need to quickly turn on my map because I need to be able to see my Y level and have my map on will allow me to see that a lot easier. As you can see, I can see my Y level there, level 66. All right, I think it's time to go. How lucky are we? How far away is the nearest? What the hell is that? Well, we're actually quite lucky on our spawn here. Like, if I turn on my render distance, how are we? 
It says there's something over there. But what? What the hell is this? Oh, this is a ruined portal. I can kill you. What the hell is that? What the hell is this thing? Is it hostile? An imp. Mana and artifice. Okay. Oh, nice. We got a netherwood sapling. Uh, okay, that's a bit weird. But now we've got ourselves a fortress over here. So that's actually not too bad. I need to make sure I don't lose where my portal is. Alright, I'm just going to stand up here. And of course, yeah, those blazes are going to target me immediately. That's a lot of wither skeletons. We're in a basalt delta. Okay, there's two spawners over here. Let me turn on a hover mode just for a second while I take on my cardboard box. And uh, before you spawn... Ah, oh, you... Damn it. They spawned. Alright, I'm going to cover this one now as well. Make sure I don't hold shift. There we go. Now we just need to kill these guys. If I can somehow without dying. Maybe I should have brought that diamond sword I got and start. Alright, we should be okay. They can't harm me with their fireballs because of my fire resistance from my obsidian skull. But they can harm me if I touch them. So I just need to be aware of that. So that's two spawners. Yep. Now I just need to see if there's another two spawners. If not, well, we are going to grab our mob swab. Oh, I actually have some uh, pants. That's cool. Let's come up to you. Oh, you have actually a bow. Well, I'm, I'm going to mob swab you and run away. And I think that's actually it. Hot tourist destination already? Damn, I didn't think I actually did that much. Okay, so I uh, put these all out of the way. Let's get to work on making this mob uh, crusher. So this is going to require some blocks of redstone. So I'm just going to make a couple of those. We're going to require two iron swords. We're also going to require another three iron swords. I need actually a total of six more of these. Like so. Then I'm going to need a block of iron. Actually, probably three blocks of iron because I need one in here and one for each of these. The two spikes and there we go, mob masher. Mom Master is going to go right here because anything that gets pushed into it will die. And this thing also has to be powered by a redstone signal. So I'll have to put a lever under the ground to activate it. Let me just quickly eat the heal. Right, now let's work on making these upgrades. So I need 10 of these, so that means I need 40 iron swords. Uh, that's actually quite a lot of iron swords. So I'm just going to make a bunch of iron swords in my inventory and see how many that makes. So... Can I make enough of these? That makes four. So I just need a few more gold nuggets. And I make seven. So I need that one sword. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That should be enough to make ten of these upgrades now. Perfect. The, these ones just require like blue or blue dye. So that's no problem. I just need a little, probably a little bit more gold nuggets. Looting. I made 16. I only need 10. So that's whatever. So I can add these in. And now, that thing will one-shot anything and give me a high output of items. Next, we're going to need another absorption hopper. I do have one over there, but that's fine. Also, I did end up make... I was looking through different type of glass that I want to use through the front. And there's two different type of ones. There is this tinted glass from Mob Grinding Utilities. It lets light... It prevents light from passing through. And it's also witherproof. But then there's also this other dark glass from... Where is it? There it is, dark glass from dark utilities. Light can't get through it, but you don't get it back when you break it. So I think this tinted glass that I already made, because I was testing it, would be way better than our regular glass. Actually, you can see it's kind of dark in the front there, so I'll probably have to put a torch there. Uh, but that's okay. So with our vacuum hopper... Wait, where did I put it? Absor is it called absorption hopper? Yes, it is. Okay. So jumbo tank... Singularity tank, so I need four, four of these, then we can make a jumbo tank, there we go. Then we're also going to require a chest to store all our items in. I'm probably going to end up upgrading this to a diamond chest, so let me upgrade this thing. Actually, if I'm going to be storing everything in the system, I probably don't have to go any higher than gold. So that should be okay. So put this here, then put the singularity tank right there, put the absorption hopper right here. So we want to go down as the items and this direction is the east so east will be fluid 
And if we show the area, you can see it picks up out here. We want to make sure it picks up on the inside. So we need to offset in north and south. So just offset in the south is fine. You can, this is a 9x9 box, but the absorption hopper only picks up in a 5x5. Five five. Next, we need to grab ourselves a lever. I don't think I have any, so I'll just grab one. And I should be able to just go under the ground right here and somehow find where this guy is. I think he's this block. So turn this on and this thing should be spinning now, which it is. That's great. Plug back up the holes and that's actually pretty much it. So now let's work on making this dreadful dirt. Probably should bookmark it. Now, we need to actually start spawning some mobs. So let me grab my cardboard box with our spawner in it. So I need to grab some building blocks, so give me some dirt. I need to come inside here, so luckily enough I can actually break this and it gives me back the block. So that's good, find the center, come up two, yeah two, put this on top, shift right click to expose it, break the dirt, and now we can break the torches inside, come out, and now we just wait for blazes to spawn. Now we can actually upgrade the speed of this thing. Uh, let me quickly sleep. All right, so now that we've slept, so if we look up spawner, we can have a look and see that a regular spawner from Apotheosis can be sped up with sugar and clocks, and we can increase the spawn count with fermented spider eyes. So that's actually, these are the main three that we kind of want, but I also want to make sure I can redstone control the thing, so I will need to also grab a redstone comparator. So let me grab three torches. Uh, do I actually want to put this on right now? Do I want a comparator on it right now? Probably not. Why is nothing spawning yet? Oh, I'm too far away from it. Damn, it's actually really dark in there. I didn't expect how dark this glass is. Okay, so the spawner stops working when I'm this far away. I need to be standing here for it to work. Right, okay, so... What do I need to do to increase the area? Increase next area by entities. Increase require player range. Prismarine, okay. Pris, oh, I can actually hear some blazes behind. Oh, wait, I have no way for them to actually go push into the center there. I never made the fans. So there's two different ways we can do this. We can either make vector plates or this mob fan. Now I'm thinking vector plates would probably be the best. So if we were to make some of this uh, black dye, how do we make black dye efficiently? Uh, we could use mystical black petals. There we go. Uh, I did actually grow a bunch of those petals. I thought I already had a bunch, but apparently I didn't. But now we... Oh, Jesus. That's one other thing I'm, I keep forgetting to mention in the episodes. These parrots just randomly out of nowhere make random mob sounds. And I don't understand why. Like, yeah, it's making mob net sounds now because there's blazes, but... Before, it just made creeper sounds, skeletons, zombies, and one other time, I heard a ghast on my island. So explain that. I don't understand. I thought these guys only make sound when there's mobs nearby. Which there is now, but before, there wasn't. So I, I got really terrified because I didn't know what was going on. Alright, so I can make some of these blank plates. I probably need about two stacks of this. Uh, I need some sugar from our ca sugar canes. I actually have a bunch of that. We're also going to need the vector plates now. Do I upgrade them? This is the, the other thing. Do I make extreme vector plates? Probably don't need to. Okay, two of them have just died. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to try and kill these blazes before anything else happens. I do not want them setting fire out to my island. So I need to kill them in here. I do not have my thing. Okay, hang on. Right, I need to grab my obsidian skull and my cardboard box. Let's go in through the top because this should be make it a little bit easier. So, cardboard box, now we can kill these guys. Blazes are also one other thing we have to be extremely careful for if we're going to um, having dreadful dirt in here. Because I think if one thing catches on fire, the entire lot ends up going in flames so that's one thing we need to be careful of okay so i need to come back out of here and grab the stuff that was sucked into this thing as you can see there's actually already some uh, um xp in here 800 so two blazes must have hit the thing by accident 
Oh, we actually have some blazes now. You can see one, I think one blaze died and he gave us like 11 blaze rods. That's all thanks to this entire like 10 looting. All right, so let's set up all these vector plates now. So I just want everything being pushed into this thing. So everything should be done like this. It's actually nice now. It actually tells you to hold shift on these plates. So you don't accidentally get pushed into them. But I already knew that, so. But anyone new who's using these things for the first time wouldn't have known that. Okay, it looks like we're going to need more vector plates. So, yeah, I need to get a few more. That's all of them down. So now I should be able to just shift right click this thing. I should take it off. Come up here, put this down, grab my torch, put it back down in the center. Where is the center? Right here. Oh, I, I forgot to put these on, the prismarine crystals. Let me put the prismarine, prismarine crystals on it now as well. Uh, using my macro, I should be able to spam a load of them on. There we go. That should be the max. And now it will spawn these guys, even if I'm all the way over here. I think. Is the thing still spinning? No. Still not spinning. Not spinning. Not spinning. Now it's spinning. I thought these were to increase the date range. 50. Do I have to add more? I thought... No, so this thing is... Raise the player's activation range of a spawner to 50. Yeah, this is the max range. So I've already done it. Uh, I don't know. Let's add now the sugar. So if we grab some sugar, which we get from our sugar cane, and we grab some clocks now, we should be able to add a bunch of speed to these uh, blazes. Now, the only issue by adding this much is... It's going to probably back up a ton of this thing now. So I need to do this quick. All the sugar I can. All the clocks I can. Now this is not recommended on a server because you could overload everything and cause huge amounts of lag. But as you can see, blazes are just spawning like crazy. If I just turn off my magnet there. Actually, let me turn on a filter. So shift right click, blazes and molten cores. Actually, I want to increase the range. Why isn't the range on the max? But as you can see, look how fast blazes are spawning now. And that's just us after upgrading the speed and duration to the max. This is where you would need a lever to turn off this if you weren't being careful. But you can see there's already 13 buckets of... La oh, oh, 15 buckets in here now. Oh my. Um, I was not expecting to get this much blaze powder or blaze rods. Cool. Okay. So let's work on making this dreadful dirt now. So if we get some buckets, grab actually perfect all four. Come over here, grab all four buckets. And now if we make this GM cursed feed. So we need a bone, any type of seed by the looks of it, spider eye and rotten flesh. I should stand all the way over here. And regular mobs should spawn now as well. Uh, maybe. This is at least 24 blocks away, right? Oh, a compressed blaze. Oh, wait. This thing doesn't... It automatically kills them? I thought it would have killed them and then they'll explode into a ton of blazes. And then it will just kill all those blazes then. Huh, weird. Okay, I do want to turn off this... Thing. So I need to make some brass. So brass comes from mixing together in an induction smelter. Some copper and zinc. Okay, so zinc. Uh, I actually don't have much of zinc. I don't have any zinc smelted. Okay, so zinc and copper. So I need to actually crush down some of this now. So let me do that. Uh, zinc, crush you, please. This thing is absolutely full of... We might as well upgrade this furnace now as well, because we actually do have the blaze rods. How is this thing already? Oh my god, there's so many blaze rods. Uh, we might actually have to set up a drawer for all this. Uh, maybe I should replace this chest with a drawer. Let me see. A uh, drawer. And I want to grab this type of drawer. A two times drawer. Because... Uh, Oh my god. I want to put... Okay, there we go. So everything should automatically get stored in here. That's already full. 
Um, upgrades. I need to make some emerald upgrades. Probably a couple of them. A tree emerald upgrades and a void upgrade. Because this thing, considering how fast it's going, it needs it. Okay, maybe like that. It'd be actually okay. Oh, wait, this thing is actually filling up extremely fast now as well. Actually, we can hide the area of this thing as well. Okay, um, was not expecting how fast that would actually be. That is a little ridiculous. How's there zinc? Have we crushed up our zinc? Uh, zinc, zinc, zinc. Where's my zinc? Wait. Where did my zinc go? Did my zinc not crush up? Silver, copper, iron, silver, nickel. Wait, what? Oh, damn, it did smelt. Okay, I wasn't actually expecting to be done that fast. Alright, two of those in there. I just need to get a couple zinc ingots. Or brass ingots, I mean. So, brass... And then we need to hammer the brass, so use this, and can I, can I use a, okay, I can. So, hammer, two of these, there we go. Now using this, we can make our redstone links. So, redstone, and I need another redstone torch. Grab, grab our redstone links, grab our comparator, and now I want to grab a, another lever, like this. There we go. And now I need to actually turn off this thing. So give me a cardboard box just for a second. So. Don't want you coming out. So I need to kill you before you do anything. Alright. Cardboard box. Wait for them to all die. Done. Okay. So in here. Let me grab myself a blaze rod actually two blaze rods so right here i want to put a link and a lever this activates it so i want to put frequency one as a blaze rod and we have to do the same in here so if i come into the back put this on the back shift right click it to this one and then give it a blaze rod if i can do that and now i just need to get out of here I don't have a lever, but if I do this, oh, I need to right click with a comparator first. There we go. So this should, in theory, turn off now. Okay, so now the blaze spawner is turned off. That's exactly what I wanted. Just plug back into the hole, grab my torch, and cover back in. Right, you'll just walk off and die. I forgot we actually have Inferium Essence to deal with as well. So maybe I'll have that export out into a chest on its own and get it pumped in over here. Um, You know what? I'll figure it out in a bit. But at least now it's turned off. We still need to get this bone so we can... Or this zombie flesh and bone to be able to make this. Like I don't have any other way of making it. Uh, unless I go and kill some Wither Skeletons. Which I don't necessarily want to do. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to fly away and just wait for some mobs to spawn. I'll just AFK over here. Surely some mobs will spawn. I'm at least 24 blocks away, right? Well, let's have to wait and see. Okay, nothing would spawn inside the spawner for some odd reason. So, I decided to just build a big platform across the back. And luckily enough, we actually are getting some spiders. So, I just need to kill the spider, get its eye, which I didn't. What the hell? God damn, the spider jumped off the edge. Um, I just need some actual spiders to start spawning so I can actually grab their eyes and try not to get a creeper to blow up anything. There we go. And I've already went to the nether and killed some zo zombie pigmen, so I can actually already get some zombie uh, flesh, but... Apparently zombies are spawning here now as well. So, once I get a spider eye, I should have everything I need. What the hell are that? Are they hostile? What the f- What the hell? Okay, I am leaving that. 
What are those? Is this some type of stuff that's going to start spawning in on this island because of that? Let me fly away just so the stuff despawns. And we come back so I get a fresh. Because I still need to get a spider. I need to get the spiders only. Not the creepers. Oh, I got a spider. Right. Okay, I'm destroying this entire platform now. That's everything. Thank God for that. Right, so now we can make our GM chicken feed. So, this should get us a really good jump start on what we need to do. Now, wait. Did I hear something else? Oh, it might have been the parrots. So, is there any ocelots or anything? Nope. Let's grab some chicken eggs and spawn some chickens. Oops, actually, I'm showing you here. Does it work on baby chickens? Or does it have to be a fully grown adult? Okay, it has to be a full grown adult. Okay, so I just have to wait for these guys to grow. Unless I feed them some seeds. Does feeding chickens some seeds actually speed up their growth? Yes, it does. Okay, this chicken will be grown in about seven seconds. And grown. Now. Ah, okay. I was wondering where the egg went. It got sucked up in a hopper. Okay, so this is going to be a bit dangerous because, first of all, I actually need to put back down our chest. And I'm going to move this guy over to our system over here. So I'm just going to plop this on top, like right here. And now, when I go inside, this is going to start spawning mobs incredibly fast. So I just need to grab myself my vector plates again because I need to replace the ones I broke at the back. So just come inside. And I'm just going to replace these ones first, like so. And now I'm just going to break this one because it's just not meant to be there. Now I'm going to pick the center one. And I need to be ready to run. So I'm actually going to break this one here. And I'm going to put this back. Because the second I put down this egg, all hell's going to break loose. There we go. Oh yeah, that's one other thing I forgot to make. I need to make myself an ender inhibitor. Uh, that will stop Enderman from teleporting all over the place. So ender inhibitor, like so. Put you down right here. Now you cannot teleport anywhere. So this is actually going to cause a lot of sound. So I need to actually start emptying my inventory already. Grab my chest. And put it back down over here. Turn off my magnet because this is actually annoying. Wait, we're getting slimes? Sky slime. Huh. Alright, let's turn this back on. Actually, that's probably a bad idea because there's nowhere to store all the blaze rods yet. Okay, so let's grab some cable. So now if we go ahead and grab ourselves an import. We can then import everything that we're getting from that chest or the mobs and put it into our system. I'm also going to need some speed upgrades because, well, I don't think having no speed upgrades at all is going to help at like, any rate. Because the amount of stuff we're getting is probably going to exceed everything. So I need four... Actually, I'm probably going to need eight of these things because I need to upgrade four speed upgrades. And then I'm going to need a few more. So I need a few more quartz. I'm going to have to make all of that into speed upgrades. And then I want to make a stack upgrade. Because a stack upgrade will allow us to pull multiple things at once. There we go. And now I just need to run the actual cable. Okay, the cable is run, but there's one problem. I don't want to be picking up all these mob drops, and I am picking up a ton of it. Uh, I can't filter out anything, so is there any other type of, like, magnet item I can get? Is there, like, a demagnifier? Uh, oh, there is. Demagnetizer. Yes, please. I actually want to stop everything being absorbed over into me. Uh, redstone, always on. I shouldn't be picking up anything now. But I am. Is this the wrong thing? Do I have to upgrade it? Maybe. Let me try upgrading it first. So, advanced demagnetizer. Does this work? Redstone. 
ignored. Turn on my magnet. I don't think I'm getting the items, but I am picking up the XP, so that's good. That's all I want. Alright, import. Put this on here, because this chest is already only full. Speed upgrades, and a stack upgrade. Okay, that's pulling everything out. Nice. So, I can fill back up this. Uh, I lost some of it to the void, because I didn't have my magnet on. So, planks. And fill in the rest of the floor. Perfect. So that's everything. These parrots probably have to get moved because they're going to be annoying me, just making sounds all the time. But, oh, the enderman spawned inside the spawner and now is suffocating. This is some weird sounds. I might have to add a muffler over there. Um, is there a sound muffler? There's a wither boss and then, okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Sound, soundproofing. Each block reduces the sound nearby. Okay, I need some orange dye. Give me four of them. So if I was to put two of these like that. How quiet is it now? Okay, it definitely reduced the sound down a bit, but that's, that's good. Uh, I could probably put these underground so they're not visible, but how are we doing on our mob stuff? So, we got plenty of molten cores. We can actually turn on the, the actual blazes now, so let's turn those guys on. And, yeah, that's pretty much it now. So, we've gotten... Jeez, that's so much zombie flesh so fast. Arrows, tattered cloth, slime balls, sky slime? Sky slime is from Tinker's Construct. Damn, we've got some advanced farm. I'm going to move this underground. Yeah, the four of them like that should be good. Alright, so that's pretty much it now. So, we've got a mob farm going and... Wait, one last thing. I know we're probably running a bit late, but if I look up um, Furnace, I want to upgrade our obsidian, our Emerald Furnace to Obsidian, and then we can go from Obsidian to Netherite. I need some Soul Sand, and you get Soul Sand from putting sand, I think, on uh, Witch Water, so I can actually do that. So, yep, I'm correct. So let's upgrade this guy to Netherite. I think this, no, it doesn't reset it, so this is going a lot faster. Now we can upgrade to netherite, so using the soul sand, can I find it in here? I can. Perfect. And then what's next after netherite? So if I go to furnace, we go from netherite to all the modium. Okay. So, yeah, that's going way faster now, so that's perfect. You know what, that last speed upgrade we have, if I just grab it and just put it in this item right here, just so we can speed up the export of that, because I think this chest is going to fill up a lot faster than we anticipate now. Oh, pigments are starting to come true, so that's great. No problem. Right, so next episode, I think we might... I don't even know what we're going to work on now next episode. Um... Oh, we, I know what we can do. We can upgrade our farm so we can start getting all the extra seeds that we want. We, so, next episode, we'll work on upgrading our farm. And then maybe the episode after that, we'll work on compacting down our sieving system into a single block. So, that's going to be cool. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to end it there. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. So, without further ado, goodbye. <laughs>